I'm I'm a firm believer. I love 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 simple flies. Why? Because I I never consider them uh, permanent. I why spend 30, 40, 50 minutes tying uh, a fly that takes seconds to lose into a tree. So I like to fish tie very quickly. I like to tie a lot of different patterns, a lot of different colors, and uh, it just is efficient. The fish. I believe the fish really, really, really don't care. Um, so anyway, this second fly is actually a jig fly. Uh, and it's very simple. It actually only uses a few parts. It uses, um, slotted tug, tugs the beads, jig hooks. I'm using jig hooks on this. Little marabou, some wire, and I'm using some bird feathers for the soft tackles. Now, when I buy my feathers, I prefer to buy them on the skid like this. The reason is, is, uh, and I'm getting this getting picked pretty good, but the reason is, is there's so many much better quality feathers here, and also uh, different sizes. Which we usually, when you buy feathers in the bag, loose, the prices are quite a bit cheaper, but 50% really are not going to be good feathers for a lot of different things and usually no small feathers so i have some really nice small feathers right here at the top of the head so there's a lot i could use i like to buy wild game feathers that way so let's get tying flies first thing you do is you put your slotted bead on it goes on hole first and then there's a slot in the back you want to get it so that it sits right up against the hook guide. You could see that you can see the slot a little bit, right? You could use regular beads, except they wouldn't make the bend. So it wouldn't quite go all the way down to the hook guy. Uh, these hooks are made to ride point up, which helps a lot because we are fishing these. This is a nymph. So we are going to be fishing in the bot uh, down below. First thing you do. Put your thread on. And take your wire and put it into the bead like that. It helps it hold. And then tie up and let the thread torque. Bring the wire to the far side. And bring it up here again. Build up a little lump here. Okay, keep you keep the wire out of the way. Take your marabou right here and wet it. Makes it a little bit easier to handle. Like that. Now, measure it. I want roughly the tail to be as long as the hook shank. So that's about right. Do my pitch wrap. Wrap it down. And now I'm going to take this. Don't cut this off. We're going to twist it. Bring my thread forward. And I'm going to wrap this. Keep it twisted. And wrap it all the way up right 
right up to the bead and then tie it off. And give it a little cut. Now, this is how most people tie this, this, uh, this uh, nymph pattern. But I wanted to make it a little bit more durable and a little bit more movement. So I'm going to take a wire. That's why I had the wire. And I am actually going to counter wrap it. This protects, I mean, it's not the most durable fly, but this helps protect it from uh, the teeth of a nice big brown trout. Wrap right up to the front. Now here's the trick wire, holding it up, go around the wire like this. Now my thread is actually reversed. Go around it. And now, cut the wire. It looks pretty buggy, but I'm going to give it a little more movement. So I'm going to take my game feather like this, and I'm actually going to strip all this off, all this fluffy stuff off. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to take even this off. What I want is that. Now, stroking it softly like this, Softly like that. See how I expose the stem right here? That's my tie-in point. And so what I do is actually reach in there and cut it. So I have a little triangle. Now I'm gonna tie it in right at that point. Right behind the bead. I'm going to take my hacker pliers like that. Carefully wet my fingers and I want to palmer it just a couple of like that. And reach in there like that. So I tie it off, reach in there with my scissors, cut it. Do a nice wet finish. And cut it off. So that's the fly. That's the that's what we had now. Uh, that is called the uh, marabou uh, marabou nymph. I jazzed it up a little bit. It has a lot of movement in it. I think it will catch a ton of fish. So for all of you, I wish you tight lines. Happy tying, and if you have any questions, of course, feel free to call me. Thank you.